Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I am Yisrael. Welcome once again to the Sea of Thieves, and specifically, welcome to the fine and upstanding establishment known as the Georgian Kraken. This gentleman here is George. She is, don't ask, not if you value your lives or having some quality rum. George, however, is guarding a door. Indeed. He may hold the key through sails untold upon the sea. His first goal set at all companies five. Well, that's nice. I have all companies five. Wonderful. Let me in. I've completed your first time. Wait. Wait. Oh, right. I see. It's not have rep at all companies five. It's have rep with all companies in excess of five. I need to get a bit more bootlicking done with the Order of Souls and the Merchant Alliance. Well, a little bit with the Order of Souls and a fair bit with the Merchant Alliance. So that's going to be the thrust of today's video. Yeah, I suppose he just said all companies five for a better rhyme. Yeah, ghosts. Well, at least I assume he's a ghost. Those glowing green eyes that can't be entirely natural. Now, where are those coin-hungry fools called the Merchant Alliance? I'm going to have to go and find them some chickens. This would be quicker, except for the last time I came to port, I ran into three upstanding gentlemen who shot me, stole my stuff, and then sold it themselves. Oh yeah, pirates. Hmm. Well, fair enough, it was an expertly carried out bit of piracy, very professionally done. I am not salty at all, and may the fetid excrement of 10,000 blue blistering barnacles infest your every drop of grog. But I'm not salty. So, senior trader Molly, what have you got for me? Ah, uh, a pressing plea, a forceful contract. Or I could... Ah, right, I know what the problem is. It's not having the rep level at five, it's having the uh, jump up that unlocks at five. The rhyme is not entirely clear. So if I go and do this, talk to Madam Olive. There we are. Drop the cash, mystic follower. So I now have to start paying for my voyages. Well, that's not so bad. The low lead soul's tankard. I don't think I want to have skeletons as my drinking partners, but, well, that's the... that may be who I'm reduced to. If there's a random matchmaker in this game, I haven't found it yet. Uh, at least rare aren't bothering times like So, George, now I'm officially besties with all of the factions. Aha! Uh -huh. All companies five, the next is ten. Your reputation builds, so come back there. Yep. 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 Yo, git. Oh wait, yes, I forgot. Pirate. So, all companies ten. Lovely. Let's see, I have got two of my initiation voyages to get rid of. And I also need to pick up some of my level five grade quests. So, gold, 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 a nest egg thieved by the measly Shady Jones. That sounds like a good one to get. Well, hey, now, ah, I need to clear my voyage inventory. Again, I'm sure there's a way to do it, but the game is not entirely clear. Left-clicking and right-clicking do nothing, neither do X, Enter, or indeed anything else. Oh, who cares? It's just some skeletons. Shouldn't be too hard to take care of, and I can always go and raid up some treasure chests as well. The chickens will have to wait. So, the horizon's clear, the sun is shining, the wind is set moderately fair from the north. Well, alright, northeast. You know, compass directions. Who needs them? Answer. Anyone who wants to get anywhere they intend to. Let's go find this nest egg. One nest egg thieved by the measly Shady Jones. Now where? Ah, it looks like it's a two-parter. So there's our first map. And there's, ooh, two chests to be had as well. So let's pull up the map and find this place. Single as Eng, north to south with a sandbar. Well, there's our starting point. Now, 
Single lozenge, north to south, sandbar, running parallel. That looks promising. In fact, it looks very much like it's on the northern bit of the Lonely Isle. Perfect. Now, where's map number two? Right. Single cross, two islands, separate with a sandbar linking them. There was... There's Rum Runner Isle, but that's the wrong orientation. Ah, Salty Sands, there we go. They're in opposite directions. Okay, we'll make a quick leg southeast to the Lonely Isle. Then it should be simple enough to beat north to Rum R the other one, whichever it was. And with a bit of luck, the wind will shift a little. So, set course. East southeast, basically, one island over. Should probably be able to see it from here. Where's my compass? Uh, yink. East southeast. Ah, great. Just follow the massive cloud of rocks and the giant skull. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Let's see. Set sails. Unfurl sails. Raise anchor. What shall we do with the drunken pirate? What shall we do with the drunken pirate? What shall we do? Apparently very little. And away. Starboard the helm. Course roughly southeast. I really don't like the look of that storm. Sail should catch. There we go. Half rudder. Sails are slightly backing off, but follow the helm through. Okay, rudder midships. There we are. Trim the sails. And we're set. Just check I'm holding more or less the right course. There might be slight starboard pressure from the rudder. Yeah, that doesn't look ominous at all, does it? Okay. Helm is still slightly caught. Check comes bearing. Yep, that looks good. And need to turn southeast. Rudder over. Meet up. Hold her at that. Rudder amidships and. Trim again. Excellent. Running pretty much straight before the wind. Wind is actually backed around northwest and we're coming right up on the island. Very right up on the lonely island. That is the lonely island. Okay. Get the sails in. Just glide in and try not to execute a usual beaching this time. Okay, and this will do nicely. Just drop the anchor. And let's go say hi to the natives. In true pirate fashion. Right. Wait for the roll. Yeah, okay. Cannon is at maximum depression. I may have actually sailed too close. I have definitely sailed too close. This must be the pirate equivalent of digging too deep. Never mind, I got a snake. That's excellent. Snakes are trouble. Snakes are much trouble. Snakes can apparently absorb cannon fire. Although, it seems they have some problems with the direct hit, which is perhaps as it should be. Okay. For it. Okay, skeleton gone. Wait for the roll. Okay. Right, note to self. Minimum range on these things. Not that it really matters. 
We can do the rest the old-fashioned way, with Swords Point. Literally, Swords Point, because as well as the triple slash that you get for just a simple left click, there is also what's known as the thrust. Hold, release, takes you forward a couple of steps, pins you for a second, but does quite a bit of damage and takes out the offending skeleton. So, let's check this map. Now, there should be something here, approximately. So, ignore the annoyed hissing. Also, annoy, ignore the annoyed skeletons. In fact, don't ignore the annoyed skeletons. Alright. And then go back to what I was doing before I was so rudely interrupted. Dig, dig, dig up the treasure. Got one. Get it back to the boat. Ignore the angry spitting cobras that are interestingly on this line, despite having virtually no food chain. It, look, nobody said this had to make sense. I assume they ate all the chickens. The Merchant Alliance will be thoroughly heartbroken. one down. Now, there was another one. And it is... Nope. No, there wasn't another one. Good. We are done with the Lonely Isle. Hooray! So, check course for the other one. Just the two to get, thankfully. I misread one of those red bush plant thingies as a cross. However, the Lonely Isle is no longer a problem. The Salty Sands, however, is straight north from here. Okay, let us let us be off. Unfortunately, the wind... The wind is not in my favour. I'm going to have to beat the entire way there. So, by the port, just be safe. Check mast angle. Get it trimmed for the initial leg off. Yes, you may make as many jokes about that as you like. Drop sails. Raise anchor. Yo ho ho. Yo ho ho. Yo ho crunch. No yo ho ho. And set course north. And I'm going to be sailing close hauled pretty much the entire way there. So. Let the wind come round. Catch her before she goes flatter back. Sails trimmed fully. And as noted, get her as close to the wind as I can without spilling the sails. And that should do. Actually, Nope, the wind's backed around northwest. I might be able to do this on a single leg. Just wait for it. Watch the sails. Wait for them to shiver. Wait for it. Okay, hold her at that. So, we are running slightly... Yeah, we're actually running pretty much due north. I can actually... Hmm, there is that island in the way. Where's the chart? Take a closer look at the chart. Ah yes, the Lone Cove. Somebody might have forgotten to mention that. Okay. Right, stand by to go about. Rather gentle port. Helms a leap. Switch sail. Right as we come through. Rudder momentum carries us on. And once we catch enough wind... There we go. Rudder midships. And that's us on to the other tack. Of course, we are now heading pretty much the wrong direction, but as long as the wind stays more or less northwest, I'll clear Lone Cove, then come back onto the northern tack again. And in fact, the rudder, the wind is not cooperating. Uh, then again, 
more or less Norwest. Have we cleared Lone Cove enough? Yes, we have. Right. Go about again. Helms Elite. And right. Mainsail. Catch her as it comes round. There we are. Close hold on the port tack and sailing due north. Ahem. Very good. Even if I do say so myself. Okay. And chart table actually turned a little east of north of anything. Let's adjust that. I think I can get a bit more close. We'll need to watch the rudder pressure from the wind, however, because the boat will, the ship will try to turn. Technically, it's a boat. It only has one mast. Well, less than three masts, and it doesn't have a captain in... I'm, wait, I'm sorry. It does have a captain in command, doesn't it? After all, anyone commanding a pirate ship is automatically a captain. Okay. Poor set. Rather holding the pressure from the wind. She should... Aha. Uh -huh. Be fine. And that, I'm guessing, is the island we're heading for. Yep, looks promising. Two small islands, a sandbar, and some of those distinctive red flags in the way. Well, red bushes, not red flags at all. Red flags are what happen if I see another muscle. Did the sails just shiver? Hmm. Wind's backing west. I think that shiver was actually a good thing. They've caught more of the wind. Right. Okay. Yep. Need to prepare for beaching. Not like that. Some unlucky sods last mortal remains. Don't they've got much I can use. I wouldn't see much of a problem with cannonballs. And yes, that snapping was the sails filling a bit further. However, turn northwest. Sails in. Treasure should have been on the northern island, so. Reef sails. And let go. And hello, skeleton pirate. Accuracy is not necessarily a uh, piracy thing. Not necessarily because of the grog. But this is what you get for dosing your pirates up on food colorings. Let's just go say hi. Do, 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 do. Hi. So, map. Where be the treasure? Well, pretty much here if I'm reading this right. Well, it looks promising. Let's grab the shovel and find out. No. Okay. Mm, here. No. Okay. Check the map. Northern Ireland. Let's see, there's the cove. I want to be a little way south of that and on the western coast. About here. Hmm. Take a compass bearing on that rock. That rock should be due east. Yeah. Somewhere about here looks reasonably good, if I'm in the right place at all. Hey, let's try it. Aha! The sweet thunk of a skeleton climbing out of the... This is getting predictable. Come on then. Come on, you mangy cur. Stop waving it like a feather duster. Wear it like a shish kebab instead. Right, 
Now that's done. Let's haul this up. Grab it. And well, could take a quick dash home and sell these, I suppose. Don't want too much loot on the ship, just in case somebody should happen to stumble by. As you may have noticed while playing Sea of Thieves, it's well the PvP environment is basically that of that old classic Eve Online. Everybody is out to do you in. You really gotta know where your towel is. So, chart table once again. What's my course back home? Ah, uh, ah, right, the sanctuary outpost. Um, yep. South, south, west, past Boulder K. Looks like the simplest way of doing this. And also, Dowsel Lanterns. I have no particular wish to advertise my presence on the high seas. At least there isn't one up on the mast. That would be awkward, but then again, low-flying dragons are not yet a thing, so perhaps I don't need to worry about that. Don't worry, give it time. I'm sure there will be. So, ready to head out. Set. Sail angle. I will be running south for the most part, so if I get the sails round to port. Set the rudder hard port. Drop sail, and I should be able to sail broad reach all the way back to... The the uh, dock should be able to. I mean, it's not like this could possibly go wrong. The moment I see another sail, but there are lights on the horizon. So hopefully that is the quickest way home. The bearing looks right, at least. Crack round. Wait for the sails to catch. And rather a midships. Wait, are those sails moving? No, it's just a little bit of parallax effect from the small island in the middle. But, ah, that's a galleon. That's a galleon. Starboard the helm. Starboard the helm. That is trouble. That'd be a crew of scurvy dogs just waiting to steal my grog. And also my treasure, but my grog is the most important thing. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you do not show your lights in this game. It makes you far too visible from far too far away. It catches the eye, especially at night. Right. Clear for action. There is a chance that these individuals are not going to be notorious scum, but uh, you don't take chances. I'll just slip in all nice and quiet like from the other side of the island, and hope that I, they are not in the mood for trouble. Or I can just go and find somewhere else to berth and sell the loot. Yeah. Port the helm slightly. Capture at that. Sun's coming up. Don't see anyone in their crow's nest. They're not keeping proper watch. Should be able to just slip in and do this all nice and stealthy like. Just wait for the uh, rock to obscure their view. There we 
we go. Right. Rather hard a port. Trim the sails around as we go. At least anticipate turn on to rudding before the wind. Catch the rudder. The sanctuary outpost shortly to be nothing of the kind. Okay, get the sails in. Glider into the bay. And let go. Right, let's go find the trader, turn this in, and hope no one is in the mood for any potential shenanigans. After all, while disputes at sea should indeed be settled according to the pirate's code, namely at sea, well, it's not so much a code as it is a set of guidelines. Aha! A seafarer's chest. Perfect. Let's go get the other one before these lubbers decide that they've had enough. Actually, I might go and say hi once I've got this chest sold. I mean, a man may die, but his loot and his grog are eternal. So just need to get the second one back to finish the voyage. Preferably without getting shot, stabbed, or otherwise mutilated. Possibly blunderbust, or maybe sniped in the ghoulies. I'm pretty sure the game's damage modeling isn't actually that uh, significantly uh, complex, but doesn't matter. Yes, it's all gold. And now it's your gold, so pay me! Is the voyage complete? Woohoo! Ah, I'm going to be at this for a while, it seems. Right. And our friends are sailing off none the wiser. That, my dear friends, is a galleon. And if you see one while you are piloting a sloop such as the small one back there, my advice to you is to run, because the assumption is that they are not going to be your friends unless you already know who they are. One of these days we may well be able to fly our own flags for ease of identification, but until then everyone is flying the white flag without allegiance or master, and well, the assumption is that everyone is out for themselves. Those of you who played EVE, yep. Welcome back. <laughs> you know exactly the kind of mindset that's needed here. Which may be why Eve had a reputation as being, well, unforgiving. Okay. So. Let's see. F more souls to liberate, by which I mean skeletons to cash in. I thought I'd... I thought I'd done that one. I had done that one. Why isn't the voyage complete? Did I miss a... Oh, gad. There were two X's there, weren't there? Ha ha ha! It takes a nice little eraser and scrubs off the X's as you find the chest. So I thought that I only had one crate to retrieve off Delta 3. Hmm. Fine. Looks like I'm heading back to the Lonely Isle, which is only mildly problematic in that there is a... Right, we might well have a uh, useful undocking here. Okay, set rudder, hard port, set sail angle, catch the wind. Drop sails. And raise anchor. I hope I've left myself enough room to turn, but this is not about to result in me taking an immediate crunch off an island. 
Come on, did I leave myself enough? Three fathoms. Yes, I did. Excellent. Right. Catch the rudder. It's close haul for the moment. And then I want to come onto the broad reach and set east southeast. Okay. Midship's rudder. Check my course. Looks good. Don't think I can quite get this as fully caught. Oh, uh, wait. Wind's actually sailing north, so I almost made myself flatter back there, but oh, there's that galleon again. Just make sure they're not in the mood. Still sailing with lights. Looks like they've got sails more or less the same course. Hit the crow's nest. Doubt they've seen me, but never hurts to be careful. Ah, there they are. They have docked at the next island over. Hmm. Could I engage in a little bit of piracy of my own, I wonder? Or I could stick to my assigned task and very quickly sail up to the isle, grab the treasure and leg it. Right. Stick with the job. I'm being paid. A little bit of casual piracy. You know, actual yo-ho-ho -ho and I'm stealing your stuff piracy and not this uh, Jack Sparrow nonsense. Would be entertaining, or at least would be worth a try. It might also turn out to be incredibly foolish. There's probably at least four people on that galley and maybe, maybe more, maybe less. Down the port. Let go. And... That sounded like busted hull, but I might have gotten lucky. No, I got lucky. That was just straining anchor cables. We're still good. I'm getting better at stopping without crashing into things. Now, check this map. I am looking for the... Where is the island, anyway? Northern Forest, just south of... The first forest chunk, just north of the second. So, should be somewhere about... Don't you dare. They're remarkably bulletproof, these snakes. Excuse me. Mostly bulletproof. Actually tougher than the skeletons, which is slightly worrying. Not sure whether that's worrying for the, me, the snakes, or the skeletons, but there you go. Aha! There we are, right. Dig, dig for treasure and for gold and the inevitable skeleton ambush. Just you wait. Inevitable skeleton ambush. Inevitable skeleton ambush. Oh, apparently it was rather an inevitable skeleton ambush. Fine. Let's finish digging. Right, one castaway's chest. Let's get this back, get it sold, and I have some grog. And maybe some piracy. And I could possibly have some fun with those guys when they uh, arrive back at port themselves. So, rudder amidships. Sails are currently close. Well, not even that. That's that's going to shiver. But uh, weigh anchor, and then use it to get some serum. Then turn for home. And that was that that galleon on the move again. No, it's just one of the local bits of terrain. Okay. Get some serum. And then it's actually a straight run back to the Sanctuary Outpost. The galleon is still over there. They look like they're having some fun. Well, they're still anchored. Well, then, 
not a threat to me, so I'll no be a threat to them for the boat. I have work to do besides. I have to get this chest back and get some more reputation cashed in. Then I may decide to go and have me some uh, fun with those upstanding, law-abiding sailors over there. <laughs> They're as law-abiding as I am. By which I mean probably not at all. Stand by to go about. Helm's elite. Switch sails. Steady on the other tack. Catch her at that. Midship's the helm. There we go. Running back towards the Sanctuary Outpost. On the right tack, we'll fetch her on this leg. And, yeah. Let's make sure there's nothing there. It would be a bad idea to get ambushed this late on in the recording session. Alright, looks good. Looks very good, in fact. Bring her in. Midships. Reef sails. And let go of the anchor. There we are. Sorted. Right. Grab chest. Flog loot. Get Grog, and Rep, and then go say hi to those guys over there, or maybe just steal, pilfer, and pirate my weasley little black heart out. Getting caught might be bad, but we'll see how it goes. But for the moment, there you go, Humphrey. Are you happy now? Oh, wait. He has gold, but, well, he'll never be happy as long That's as the Leo of the Sweet Yellow Metal is calling to his heart and possibly his chin. Right, the gold bucko. Ah. Right. Nine carat gold and possibly a new shovel for a thousand. However, what I'm really interested in is possibly the blunderbuss. And maybe, just maybe, the sniper rifle. But you need quite a lot of gold for those. Uh, in fact, let me see. 13,500 for one. 27,000 for the blunderbuss. Well, it might not be the world's most reliable, but it will do the job. Go get some legends. Thank you. Right. Loot is sold. Let's go do some pirating. Yoink! Who knows, maybe, just maybe, they'll actually be friendly and I can sail with a crew for once. Oh, who am I kidding? Their immediate reaction is going to be to shoot. Okay, rudder starboard. Wind sails are more or less trim. This is just for maneuvering out. So, way anchor. This, ladies and gentlemen, is perhaps the most perilous activity against the most dangerous and unpredictable of foes in the Sea of Thieves games. Sea of Thieves games, or other, other people. Yes, all the skeletons, all the bilge rats. All the shady merchants and all the double-dealing, poison-spitting, venomous snakes you may encounter are as nothing compared to... them. Ha. Huh. And in fact, they are sailing, so... I have a cunning plan. They're altering course. Coming broadside, they have almost certainly seen me, but let's give them something to look at. Lay up.
Now is she head reaching? Hard to see with these waves. If she just sails past, this isn't going to work. Let's give her something to look at. Turning to bear. Right, over the deck. This is the plan. While they are looking at the ship, I am going to swim up to them. This may or may not be an insanely risky plan, but it depends on whether or not they are in the mood for a bit of action. Don't see anything so far. Oh, that was cannon fire. Okay, stay down. This may just be a bit of casual drive-by vandalism, but at least it removes any qualms I might have had about doing this. After all, they shot first. Check my bearing again. Just keep sailing. Just keep swimming. Under the water. Now they're coming up to dock. Again, they shouldn't really be able to see me too much at this point. Or they may have already seen me and they're just laughing out the other sides of their faces. It's entirely possible. Oh, yeah! Shark. Forgot about those. They, they these spawn if you spend too long underwater. It's a bit of a pisser. Um, just I don't have any bananas with me either. I did not think this plan through, but there's my target. Hope he's coming back. I mean, it takes two shark bites to put you down. Yeah, like I said, it only takes two, unless you brought a lot of uh, bananas. And this gentleman and ladies is the Ferry of the Damned. This is where you go where you die. At the moment, this is free. It's simply a time penalty. You get stuck back on your ship when it's done. But, well, they're talking about making this chargeable, and I really hope they don't. For the captain is a gracious soul. And besides, a death penalty, even a minor one, would tend to uh, discourage the kind of crazy stunt that I just tried. Interestingly, there is a magnetic north. Hmm. Fascinating. Anyhow. Back, back to the land of the living. And unfortunately, back to the boat. I was rather hoping I was going to be able to take advantage of that, but no matter. It was worth a try. Now, the boat is automatically rigged for sail. I had left it set. And raise anchor. It was like most plans. It was bold. It was daring. It was incredibly stupid. And this time I am going to remember to get myself some bananas. There we go. Always stock up on your bananas. They may not be as pleasant as grog, but they are considerably more useful. And helm over. Midships the helm. Oh. Watch it, you lubber. Honestly, some people have no respect for the rights of the sea.
That was the sound of me running aground, wasn't it? No, it was the sound of the ship sinking. Well... I'm thinking at this point the quickest option might simply be to let it sink rather than try to haul off this mess. Hmm. Well, having gotten through the entire episode without once beaching myself, it seems as though reality has decided to enforce its uh, whims once again. And again, if I can get off the helm. I mean, I don't even think I'm in enough water to sink. That's the embarrassing thing. Does this boat count as having sunk, I wonder? Yes. Answer is yes, yes, it has. Right, in that case, there is only one thing to do. Go and get well and truly hammered. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been usual. That has been another day in the Sea of Thieves, or possibly on the Sea of Thieves. Until next time, and the next boat, farewell.